when, when I was asked about this at first, I sort of felt a little bit of like heaviness, like, like I don't know if I can um, speak to this and be authentic right now because, you know, I do, I, you know, my spiritual well is a little <laughs> dry right now at times with the pandemic. And so I guess I just want to be vulnerable and say that in case anybody else might be feeling that too. In the context of the pandemic, you know, it has taught me how much I really do need people and how integrated um, my, my need for God and my need for people is. You know, I need other people to be with, to fellowship, to commune, to worship. Um, those aren't things that, um, that I want to do in isolation. Um, and I think, you know, we're getting through this together and it's hard, but I really do look forward to the time that we're back. And I, I really believe that uh, if there's anything I can, um, positive that I can pull out of this experience is like that reminder and that humility for myself that like how much I need people, how much I need St. Stephen and this community um, to sustain my faith. You know, the, the building has changed over the years, but we've never really been about the building. It's always been about the people. And even with the, um, the rebuild that we've done, it, it was done completely with the thought of, you know, how can this expand how we serve the community? You know, it's never been about um, sort of uh, how the building looks or like um, the architecture, winning awards or things like that. It, it's really just an extension of the work that we want to do with people in the community. Part of me thinking about this is just excitement for getting back to being with everyone. And, and worshiping together in person, you know, like there's that expression about God with skin on, and and I feel like that's really what um, Saint Stephen provides.